Hi everyone, this is Marie Blue Angel back with Heartstrings, and today I will be embarking on Hugo's Round, which I'm very excited about because out of the three, just like aesthetically, I think Hugo is the one who interests me the most. Um, but I think that this route would be a little tricky since, like we saw in Zach's route, Hugo already has a girlfriend, so I don't know how we are going to navigate that. Um, also, I really like Zach's route, and so now I'm kind of like my mind is kind of stuck on that, but I'm going to uh, move on and just focus on Hugo this time around. Um, if I run into any trouble with the choices, I will try to consult a walkthrough, but I don't know. I kind of like also playing it by ear and just seeing what kind of ending I get with whatever intuitive choices I make. Although, again, if it does happen where I don't get the good ending, I, I will make different choices to show that on screen because we all deserve to see good endings for all of these lovely, lovely people. But okay. Let me just get into it. Hugo, are you my soulmate? Maybe. It's been a week and I adjusted to my new life here. I'm already familiar with my housekeeping duties and managed to do them well, thanks to the help of our experienced butlers and fellow maids. That's good. It's the afternoon and we have time to dilly-dally. that I haven't gotten used to here is this area's wideness. I'm sure it is an expansive estate. Oh, those flowers look so bright and healthy. Oh, oh, a new background. I like this. Oh, it's so pretty. I still get lost sometimes, especially in their backyard. Just like today. This is their backyard? Why is there a forest here? That's true, why is there a lot of trees? They have a lot of acreage. I can't even remember where I came from. I should have done something about it, especially that I'm already aware of how clumsy I am. I continued to torture myself until something caught my eye. A stream? Wow, awesome. Though I think this looks man-made. It looks so serene view has kind of calmed me down. Maybe it's okay to get lost sometimes. It's when you get the most amazing destinations. That's true. A little spontaneity. Sometimes things don't go as planned. I think this is probably important for me to remember, especially on this route. And also in life. Not too long after, I noticed something by the tree not far from here. Oh, someone is here. Is it Hugo? <laughs> oh my gosh, I love this CG. Wow, if I could be but a person taking a nice afternoon nap in my backyard after reading a book or something, that'd be lovely. Isn't that Master Hugo? Is he sleeping? And what are these? A notebook and a pen? Was he writing something? He's peacefully sleeping, too. Hmm. Upon closer look, this man looks very enticing. Not only his facial features are well proportioned, but he has these thick eyelashes, too. Lovely features. His silky dark hair falls down to the ground, as if it became one with the grass. To think that I'd be connected to this person. He does look very peaceful. Is this really my soulmate? Ugh. He woke up? Question mark? <laughs> you. Oh, y young master, you're awake. Who? Oh, Marie. You're red. I wonder why. Are you alright? Yes. How about you? Why are you sleeping here? I think I fell asleep while writing my manuscript. 
Ah, uh, yes. Hugo is a writer. I forgot. Manuscript? Yes. When I need to brainstorm ideas, nature is the best place to find inspiration. That's true. You guys should build, like, a little gazebo or something out here. That'd be great for nap times, or just a little couch. It is indeed serene here. If you were writing a manuscript, are you a writer? Yes, I'm a novelist. Wow, amazing. May I know what genre you write? Romance. He's a romance writer? How fun. Oh. So we both are in the same field. Huh? Oh, right. You didn't know. I used to work as a matchmaker and fortune teller uh, for love readings. Really? Yes. Anyways, that's amazing. Being able to write romance and all that. Nothing compared to you. Care to tell me more about your past career? Why don't we talk about this inside the mansion? I'll prepare some tea. Oh my gosh, we're getting all these new backgrounds, which makes sense. Ooh, I like how the trees look outside the window. And this scene is particularly fun. Have a seat. I was gonna say, it's probably his office, that's why I've never seen it. Is this your home office, young master? It's so organized. Yes, I'm a freelancer. So he gets to work wherever he wants. Huh. Now that makes me interested in your work. Can you please tell me the name names of those novels so I can read them too? Sure, I have copies here so I can just lend them to you. Really? Thank you so much. Enough about me. You said you did fortune telling. Do you read tarot, fortune globe, and things like that? No. Tarot holds no meaning at all. The same goes for globes. I see red strings of fate. The one from the legends? I see you know these things well, as well, young master. I researched about them once. Do you believe in them? Not really, but sometimes. I like to imagine it as a real thing. A dreamer, huh? One of the traits every fiction writer should have. It is indeed a romantic concept. Do you love writing romance, young master? I guess. Human emotions are rather complicated, making me want to study the subject. You're right. Since we're both working on romance, doesn't that mean we're birds of the same feather? Indeed. While talking, I was observing the room itself. It's very tidy and full of books. I guess you need a lot of references when you're a writer. If you like writing romance, you must be pretty romantic yourself too. I really like this mirror also, side note. <laughs> Hugo. I don't know about that. But surely, you've had experience, haven't you? If only that's true. What? Eh? A romance writer who doesn't have experience, huh? I mean, that's fair, you, can ha you don't need to, but like, I thought you had a girlfriend. Here are the books. Thank you. These look interesting. Okay. Let's see. Snowman. She's my roommate and Sendrion. Maybe I'll try Snowman first since it's a short novel. Winter. For many, it's the coldest season. But for me, it's the warmest of them all. The season of warm hugs, hot chocolate, the serenity it gives when a family is gathered by the furnace while singing Christmas songs. My heart was full of warmth until the season made my heart turn into ice. Now this is getting interesting. The story was about a young man who once loved the winter. 
He met a girl who made him fall in love with all of the seasons, especially spring. Spring is a season of new beginnings. It's basically about the protagonist experiencing his first love. The main female character tragically killed herself due to a long-term depression, which led to the protagonist to be all alone and bear the pain of his loved one who died during the winter season. This made him hate the snow, the cold breeze, anything that reminds him of the day he lost his soulmate. It was a tragic melodrama story, and I cried when reading it. Hugo is really talented. I managed to read the short novel in one night, so I stayed up late. I'm looking forward to reading more of his works. The Heinz family is having their breakfast. Yuki, how were your midterms? I'd rather not talk about it. I like this music a lot. He probably failed again. It's not my fault that the math problems given were far from what we learned. You understand that you can still solve them if you understood the solving process, don't you? <laughs> On the other hand, Yuki did pretty well in literature and agricultural subjects. Thanks to you, Hugo. If you didn't give me the pointers, I wouldn't be able to answer them. I don't understand why we have to learn subjects that are unrelated to our courses. Oh, Yuki, it is, generally speaking, good to be somewhat well-rounded. But, um, I, I get that. You need to be well-rounded so you can understand different perspectives from different fields, but it is frustrating. It's to improve your soft skills that'll be helpful for your agricultural career later on. Well, as long as you remain a good student, then that's fine by me. Heinz is such a chill uncle. Even if, even if I failed my subjects? Just do better next time. If you don't, I'll rip your flowers in the backyard. Damn, Heinz. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, that's so funny. Okay. It's fun watching this family have their breakfast together. I wish I could also go back to the times when I could have breakfast with my family, too. Marie. I don't know, I just chose one of my voices. Oh, Hugo. Are you okay? Uh. Was it really obvious? Yeah. He's surprisingly empathetic. I'm fine, thanks. Oh. A package for Hugo Gardner. I'll go get it. A fancy decorated box with ribbon has arrived for Hugo. I'll deliver this to him myself. Young master, you have a package. Oh, from who? It only has the initials KY. Hmm, a gift, huh? Hugo set the box on his desk and began opening the present. The content was a lot different than the outer packaging. A party mask covered in red liquid appears like, appeared like blood, along with a torn piece of paper beside it. Uh, it, is that real blood? No, it isn't. Wait, this is from a page of my book. Hmm? The phrase, please let him live, was highlighted here. Please let him live. Hmm. A mask, blood, and this. There's no doubt. What is this? It probably came from a fan who wanted to revive their favorite character from my book. A fan? You can't call them a fan when they start giving you items with blood. Indeed, but this just means my work is a massive success. But... Isn't that a threat? It happens to all writers, and it's not surprising anymore. But young master, it could be serious this time. I won't let that happen. You don't need to worry. I won't let the others worry, too. 
You should tell them just in case. It's unnecessary. This is just an ordinary obsessed fan encounter. Besides, I doubt another one will be set. Will be sent. This fan will just give up. Young master. I trust that you won't tell the others, too. I got this. Trust me. I have doubts about your judgment, but if you receive another one, then please, at least tell me. Okay, I will. Thanks. Oh, that's kind of, that's a lot though, getting that package. That makes me feel at ease. I don't want to see a string fade again. However, we shouldn't be too relaxed. If Hugo won't, then I'll investigate who sent it. I should first figure out the book he's referring to. If I identify which of these books has a dead character, then that will help me have a lead. I can always ask Hugo, but understanding it from a reader's point of view will give me a clue how exactly the blackmailer ma might have felt when their favorite character died. I mean, okay, I will just interrupt here and say I've had many favorite characters die on me, and while it's sad, it's like, I understand that it is the creative and artistic license of the author to do so, and whether or not I super agree with it all the time, it is they are the ones creating the world, creating the characters. So I think it definitely is really, it, it's very concerning that this person sent like this kind of seemingly harmless but also not harmless it seems kind of a threat so i assume this is going to be something that reoccurs in this route but i just can't believe it's a thing that has happened i already finished <clears throat> i already finished reading snowman and the main female character died there however i haven't read the others yet i'm also said him so, it would be a character with him, he, him pronouns, I think? Cendrion is a French translation of Cinderella. Still, we can't be too careless to assume that this one will have the same ending as the fairy tale. We also have She's My Roommate, which also sounds like a romance comedy. Which of the two should I read first? Please let him live? I don't know. 11 p.m. Chatters, wine glasses, masks, laughter. I held on to the thing that decide my fate. Our fate. I shouldn't be attached. I should only think of myself. I held on to it again. This time with a little more grip. Let the pain wake me up with this dream. I wish it could. But it's still not doing anything. He offered his hand for a dance. The moment I took it, it'd be all over. But I remembered the oath, the unbearable truth that will forever be etched into my heart. The night is young, and so is he. Starting off with the climax, eh? As I continue on, the plot flash back the plot flashes back to the past. It's about a poor girl who was tasked to earn the trust of a prince, and only then to betray him. Blackmail, she took it or else it cost her family. And so she met the prince as his maid. Over the course of the story, she managed to get closer to him and eventually earned his trust. He even fell in love with her. It was mutual, but she knew that she couldn't. I'm his first dance, and I'm afraid this will be the last. Also, did, did they say in the threat, no that there was a mask also, so maybe this is the right one. I took the thing from my pocket and put it in his heart. His eyes muttered confusion, but I smiled in return. I purposely did it here so everyone would see. The life I had was never mine to begin with, but you made me realize I always have a choice. Instead of cursing me, he's only smiled. My life is yours. I regret what I did. I never wanted this to happen. But if you die, then I shall go down with you. I think I made the right choice. No doubt. 
Oh, <laughs> I think I made the right choice. No doubt this is the book he's referring to. The setting goes way back to the past where death penalty is the punishment for murder. It's sad. Tragic, indeed. That fan was even depressed and might really be needing some help. But I won't let any harm come to Hugo. I'll protect my soulmate no matter what. It's morning again and I'm cleaning the library. Ah, the good old library. How about your fortune telling? I didn't expect I'd bump into him here. If I saved up enough, I'll go back to it. I see. Even with enough money, you'll still fool people, huh? I don't care if you believe me or not, but just so you know, I'm not that kind of person. Sure, fraud. I decided to ignore him. Hey, fraud. I saw your poster before that. You're doing some love readings and matchmaking. Yes, so? I thought you don't believe in them. The matchmaking part got me. What kind of matchmaking do you do? Interested, aren't we? Since you're my young master, I'll tell you. I match people based on their preferences. Sometimes I add a little bit of magic in it. Magic? My fortune-telling skills. If I see that they're meant to be, I match them despite mismatching their preferences. Works all the time. I see. Disregarding that fraud, fraudulent part, it's not far from what I do. What? You do matchmaking too? Yes, I rely on technology though. We only engage through practice dates and member management. May I know the name of your company? It's Heartstrings Co. with the A as the arrow base, like from the email. Huh? The matchmaking website that almost made my job obsolete. I didn't expect you, that you'd be working there. I manage it, to be exact. I'm the CEO. Oh my. Don't you know a lot of traditional matchmakers lost their jobs because of your website? Ugh. It's their fault for not keeping up with the times. I know. He makes sense, but... That goes the same for phones. If we still relied on mail, our lives would have been harder. I know that. It's exactly why I gave up on matchmaking. So you're indeed a... So you're indeed a traditional matchmaker. What a waste. Do you want to apply as my matchmaker instead? Huh? I'm a maid here. Then maybe soon in the future then. Thanks, I'll think about it. If I accept this offer, maybe I'll figure out something about our strings as well. Marie. Oh. It's Hugo, probably. Young Master Hugo. Hmm. I have something to talk to you about. Is that so? Wait, let me just finish this up. I proceeded to wipe the remaining windows. Hmm. Uh-huh. I heard you're having trouble with your next novel. Stuck, aren't we? I'm managing just fine. Thanks for your concern. If you ever, If you ever need help, you know I can always lend a hand. I don't need your help. Thanks. Hmm? I'm finished. Uh, what is it? Come with me. See you around, fellow matchmaker. Bye. Did you receive anything threatening again? I didn't. Thanks for asking. I called you for another reason. Like what Zack said, I'm stuck with my novel. I find myself uninspired these days. I'm sorry to hear that. How may I help? Since you're able to read Red Strings of Fate, I was hoping to learn more about you and your skills, since your talent kind of relates to my romance, romance fiction genre. Can I interview you? Oh. Wait. You believe me when I said all of those things before? Whether it's true or not, there are legends and discussions about it. I just want to get a grip of the concept itself. I see. 
I'm hoping you could share some of your knowledge and experiences. What do you say? Uh, I'm going to say yes. It's a chance to figure out our string's connection. Exactly. Okay. Great. When you're done for the day, meet me at the stream. Got it. Yes, we're going to go to the backyard. Young master? Thanks for coming. As usual, this place feels serene. It's the perfect place to stimulate creativity. Indeed, which is why I also wanted to meet you here. Sure. Hugo pulled out his Hugo pulled out his notebook and pen. I have questions regarding your ability. Go ahead. When did you start seeing red strings of faith? For as long as I can remember. I see. Which reminds me, I don't know anything about you. Heinz also didn't tell me anything. Did you used to live alone? Yes, but before that I grew up in an orphanage. An orphanage? My parents... They died when I was young. Then I grew up in an orphanage. I was homeschooled there, and when I turned 18, I lived independently. I'm sorry. It's okay. I know the feeling of growing up away from parents. Young master. I remembered what Heinz told me about his nephews having issues with their parents. Good job to us for hanging there. Oh, thanks. You too. Moving on. Do you just see red strings of fate everywhere? Yes, but they're often faded and unno unnoticeable unless you stare at it for a long time. I see. At least it wasn't as wrecked as I thought it's going to be. Tell me more about red strings of fate. Hmm. Each person has a red string of faith, but there are some who have broken strings. This is usually caused when the person on the other side of the strain has passed, meaning it's out of their faith, resulting in a broken string. That's just... sad. The other end of the string is then left alone in this world. I hope mine doesn't break. Hugo. It's in perfect condition. Thank God. Say, is it connected to somewhere far away? Uh, yeah. I can't tell if that he's connected to mine. I see. I'll wait for her no matter how long it takes. Hugo. Can you see other things than that? Like, a vision of the future? No, that's about how far my skill goes. I see. I just wonder how you're able to make a living. I just wonder how you're able to make it as a living. Oh, about that. I remember Zach's offer again. I used to be a matchmaker. Then I add my special talent to my services to achieve successful matches. I see. You are the same as Zach. Speaking of Master Zach, you don't seem too fond of him, young master. You don't need to concern yourself about that. I really wonder what's between the two of them. I think this new knowledge has inspired me. Thank you, thank you, Marie. I am glad of, uh, I'm glad to be of help. By the way, young master. Hmm. Are you not going to do anything about the person sending you threats? I. <coughs> Oh my god, a cat? A cat? How did it get in here? It sounds li it sounds like a cry for help. Let's look for it. Oh my god, we're going to rescue a cat. Hugo and I separated paths to look for the cat. Great. Another animal hunt, I guess. <coughs> there you are. There was a white feline at the branch of a tree. It kept on meowing as if it can't go down. You can climb up. You can climb up, yet you can't get down. Oh, silly cat. Good thing I learned how to climb trees. I was a master in climbing trees, 
against my childhood friend Lucas back at the orphanage. I reached the top of the branch and let my hand be snuffed by the cat. Sniffed, probably. Sniffed by the cat. It rubbed itself on me, and it seems gentle as well. I managed to hold the cat in my arms, and we were about to go down until a cracking sound heard. Uh, until a cracking s sound heard started. Did I gain weight again? Oh no, we're about to fall. Marie. The cat. <laughs> well, the cat's like, I am a matchmaker. Thank you. I am bringing together these two lovely people. Oh. Are you okay? Hugo. He saved me again. Good thing the cat doesn't seem like it's hurt. Is it because I thought I was going to fall? <laughs> Why is my heart beating so fast? The sparkles are fun. Marie. To be held like this, I feel safe in his arms. Marie. Oh. Y yes, I'm okay. Thank God I was right on time. Thank you. I wonder where this cat's from. It doesn't have a collar. Is it a stray? Mm, could be. It's still meowing. Maybe it's hungry? In that case, let's feed her. Aren't you cute, little fella? This cat is so cute. I'll go get her food. Hugo left the room. The cat is so playful and runs around the room, as if she owns the place already. Careful! The cat bumped into a box. Jeez, I told you to be careful! The box revealed its contents before me. It was a knife, with blood on it. Did Hugo lie to us? Wait, blood again? And a knife inside? I see you found it. Hugo came back and set the cat's food aside. Why didn't you tell me that you got another threat? I didn't want to worry you. Young master, this time it's real blood. Isn't that really threatening? Master, I think we should tell the others before this gets serious. Uh, yeah, I think we should. I don't want anyone to get hurt either. Okay, and I'm going to leave it there. A lot has already happened. We saved a cat. We learned more about Hugo and that he's a romance writer. Um, these threats are very concerning. Um, so good thing that we're going to, you know, inform everyone and also probably put some employees on the lookout just so that maybe we can catch this person because that's it's really concerning. Um, but yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying Hugo's route. I certainly am. Um, I think I've made decent choices so far, so I'm not too concerned. Um, fingers crossed, though, for a good ending. But um, yes, have a good rest of your day, and I will see you later. Bye!